Well, good morning, everyone. There's been a lot of discussion in the Facebook group regarding homing switches and the sculpt fun engravers. Uh, questions like, how come it doesn't have homing switches? Do I need homing switches? Um, all that kind of stuff. In theory, if you're just wanting the laser to move out of the way to a start position uh, to, to, so that you can pick your piece up and not bang into the laser or whatever, you can set that up fairly easy. It just, just takes a few, uh, few minutes, if that, to get it set up. And that's what we're going to uh, discuss here. It's not very hard, and I'll walk you through it. I'll walk you through the first part on my computer here, and then I will video the other part of it because my laser is connected to it, uh, my laptop. So, in order to do this, first of all, you go to the laser window, all right, and then you want to make sure that start from absolute coordinates is set up. Okay, that that's a must in order for this to work correctly. And then you want to go to, excuse me, edit, and then device settings. And you want to check for two things here. Of course, this should automatic, this should be already turned off, auto home on startup because it doesn't have the homing switches and it will do all kinds of crazy things if you turn that on. So that's going to be off and then return to finish position. You want that turned on. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to power off your laser if it was turned on and then uh, shut down light burn then move the laser to the lower left hand corner give it just a little bit of space between the rails okay then turn the laser on then start up light burn all right then once you do that then you're going to come over to your move tab okay over here and then you will click on set origin and set finish position okay those are the two you're going to click on all right then i will show you at the uh, at the laser what it looks like and how to put it into practice all right so we'll continue this in just a moment Hello everyone. Okay, we are now at the laser and I've got it turned off and I've got light burn closed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the laser and just kind of gently move it down to the lower left corner, just a little bit away from each side. Okay, and I'm going to turn on the laser. And then on the computer, I'm going to get light burn going. All right. So on the move window, we want to click set origin and set finish position. All right, so now if I were to, let's grab a square and I just want to make a little square, all right, just for demonstration purposes. Now, what I'll do is I will come over here and frame it so I can see where the laser is going to go. And I'll point the laser over here. 
put the camera over here, excuse me. Okay, so now I pretend and I put my piece of wood under there and I have the laser disconnected for this demonstration. All right, so I've got everything framed up and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press start to engrave my image. So here we go. So it's going to engrave. And then when it's done, it's going to come back where it started. Okay. So you don't really need um, homing switches. You know, if you just want the laser out of the way uh, for your piece, you know, to get the piece off the table easier. All right, I hope that makes sense to everyone. And if you have questions, please feel free to ask and I'll be uh, do my best to help you. All right, thanks for watching.